Welcome to episode two of Hidden Places and Secrets of Epiphany. I'm Pastor Mark Rossington. And as you can tell, I'm standing up here in the altar area. And let's go discover what's behind this gray door. And it's a room that we call the sacristy. First thing you'll notice when you walk in is another emergency exit for the sanctuary. And then in the dry Arizona heat, my mouth gets dry a lot during worship services. So in here are lots of cold waters for Deacon Bob and I to use. Up here, we have a telephone for any emergency calls during the worship service, a fire extinguisher for emergency use. This is the box in which all the member guest connection cards are used so we can follow up during the week. First aid kit. These are the pouches in which the offering after each service is put, and then those are deposited in our church safe using a special slot. Here's where all the communion ware is washed. We actually have a hot water heater underneath it. Up here are schedules for those who are serving, either setting up Holy Communion or also distributing it, and some instructions there. Down below are storage spaces for the communion ware. Right here is a mirror, so that way those who are serving in the worship service can make sure they look sharp. Here is where Deacon Bob and the Acolytes put on their robes. I actually put my robe on in my office. Right here is an atomic clock. We use atomic clocks in the sanctuary and in my office, so we're all on the same page when a worship service starts. Right here is the lighter that the Acolyte uses to light his or her taper. A taper is that brass implement that is used to light and extinguish candles. Right here are the instructions for setting up Holy Communion, complete with pictures. we got the lectern mic back here right now because we don't use it during video worship services. The hand sanitizer that goes on the altar. And this is the space in which Holy Communion is prepared. Now, right over here is a special drawer, and let me take you on a tour of what's in it. First of all, we have a Bible, and that's in case I have to read any passages that are not in the worship service bulletin. Right here is a special edition of our hymnal, and it's called the Pastor's Agenda, and that has all those special rites that we use, like the baptismal rite, confirmation, marriage, funerals, etc., Right here we have laminated copies of the Nicene and Apostles Creed. And that's just in case the pastor forgets to bring up his bulletin and he can lead the congregation in saying the Apostles Creed without messing it up and bringing everyone to a screeching halt. Here's the microphone that I'm presently using for the video worship service. It's a lapel mic there. We have the remote that I use for PowerPoint sermons. And of course, an extra set of fresh batteries just in case either one would fail. I carry three by white cards in my pockets on Sunday. I make notes of guest names and any other things in the worship service that I want to remember the next week. I also have my business cards back here. And then I'll show you this wedge in a minute. But I have blue pens to write on the white note cards. I have a red pen to write in the worship service bulletin to remember things to do during the service. Highlighter for Deacon Bob's bulletin and a pencil because I don't like marking up this Bible. So I'll just note where to start the reading and end it and then erase it after the worship service. So let's get to this final item that seems kind of odd. It looks like a wedge. Is this a doorstop? And the answer is no. This was actually made by a member for me and I'll show you how it's used. And we need a water bottle to do it. So let's walk out to the podium or the lectern. And I used to put my water bottles like this. Sometimes the cap wouldn't be sealed all the way, water would get out. I do not want to mar the finish of the lectern. So a member made this wedge for me. And if you put it like this and put the water bottle on top, you can have the water bottle perfectly straight up and it won't leak. Right here is all those pictures of our members, guests, and friends that I look at when I do the daily devotion videos and the worship service. So there you have it. What's inside this room right here? It's called the sacristy. Thank you for watching and have a great day.